Hi, this is Lolly with an art journal swap I'm doing with Amira in Oz Crafts, and I will give you the link to her channel. What we're doing is giving each other a prompt in the shape in a die like this. She gave me this pineapple, and that's to prompt me to make an art journal layout, and I am coating this with this gold frosted paint. It's acrylic. Then I'll set that aside and clean up my mat, and then I will work on my layout with this little, um, it's mixed media paper or watercolor paper that she made for me. I decide to protect the rest of the journal by putting this um, paper underneath it so that it's not going to um, get onto the other pages in here. So as I'm working on this, I pick out some colors. There's a green, a sunflower yellow, and a pale, pale yellow. And I'm thinking this is what I want to work with. You can see I'm kind of running out of paint here. <laughs> so anyway, um, when I'm thinking uh, as I'm going to just lay out some color here, as I tend to do, I'm not really worried about great coverage and even that it looks great. So you see I'm missing a whole lot of paper here. And then I'm going to blow dry it. And I have skipped a lot of the blow drying processes throughout this video so that you wouldn't have to sit through that. And now I have a darker brown as well, kind of like a milk chocolate. I'm going to use that over a stencil and then I'm going to use that green, which I realize it's kind of bright green, but then it will um, most of it will be covered up as I go along. So that's why I want to get this bright green in there first so I can tone it down. Now when I think of pineapples, I always think of how many times I have let a pineapple uh, rot in the fridge because I'm always wanting to save it for something, for a better occasion or something. Oh, and by the way, I'm using a piece of carpet here. Um, to sponge paint on my layout and it looks really great. So about that pineapple and so I want to think of being able to live in the moment to be able to, to live and enjoy myself, enjoy that pineapple, not let it rot, <laughs> not wait for a better time. And so you'll see a lot of my emphasis in this layout has to do with that thinking. Okay, so I just dried that again, and now, you know when um, you have tape on a roller, and when your tape is all gone, you have this little plastic disc that the tape was assembled on? That's what I'm using to stamp out little white circles all over here. I save those because I like that look. So, give that a little dry, and then I have this background stamp that looks like poetry, and it's cursive, and I'm stamping it in this dark evergreen um, ink pad. Make sure that your ink is, your paint is dry before you put a rubber stamp on that. Now I'm just removing that protective background there to see paper so that I can get to work here. Now I have this canvas and I'm, I'm pulling the threads on the outside and I'm going to spritz it because it's too dull. And this is some tattered lace, I think, spray. And I, it's very bright <laughs> and I kept regretting <laughs> spraying it with this red, but it does give a pop of color that's nowhere else in my layout. So I'm kind of glad in the end, it just right now it was kind of scary. This stencil has a lot of words on it, and the one at the top says perishable. And I thought, how appropriate is that for my poor pineapples that I, <laughs> I have let go to waste in my refrigerator? So I'm using that same evergreen ink, and I'm stamping that word out there. And I'm just trying to figure out where I want all of these elements to go. And a friend had sent me some some die cuts. I have this little yellow thing, and I realized that's just too dull. It won't. It just blends in with my work. So I'm sticking with the green leaves. I'm thinking that the leaves remind me of life and I also have a little piece of a map that she gave me and I'm thinking you know living travel and you know all the things that we need to do now instead of worrying about tomorrow and then this is a it's a circle a semicircle with stars on it and to me it reminds me of what earth might look like uh, looking at it from up above the stars with seeing the stars and the earth and I am using gel matte medium to um, attach all of these pieces here. So we've got all of that going in there and um, I do give it a good time to dry as well when I'm done with all that. And then after I get all these attached, um, I did put some of the green leaves by the way under the map, on top of the map, under the pineapple and I'm even using it on this little canvas piece that I have here and then the pineapple. So after that, I think I want to add some shadowing under some of these pieces. And I got out um, some black paint. Let's see if that's what's coming up. After I clean my mat first, yeah, I clean that all off. You'll notice I don't use baby wipes very often. I just use a clean uh, one of my cleaning rags. And I just keep it damp so it doesn't the paint doesn't harden on it. And then I wash it. Here's the black paint. So 
I decided to do a little uh, splatter on there. I'm using this brush entirely the wrong way, which I have learned. Um, and then after drying that and thinking, oh, what a mess I just made, I cut out some words. And I had made these on the computer. Don't wait for a better time. I thought that would be appropriate for what I'm trying to tell here. Don't wait for a better time to eat that pineapple. I'm distressing them with um, some Distress Ink Black Soot. So I get those glued on there. And by the way, that is a nice typewriter font that I found online for free. And I'm sticking those in there. And then it's when I'm going to get out that black paint. And when I start playing with the black paint, uh, I realize I'm making too dark of a shadow underneath my, um, my die cuts here. So I start to panic a little bit. And uh, I should be getting this little black tub out here now. And there it is. So I just keep adding water, adding water, adding water, and it's just not lightening up enough. And I realize that I'm with kind of horror there how <laughs> dark I got that shadow. And so what you don't see is I have water off camera, and I am using that to just put directly water onto my artwork here instead of trying to eat, you know, uh, lighten down my paint. I'm just going for the water alone. So um, that kind of tones it down. And then I decide to go ahead and shadow in the crease between the two pages and to shadow around all the edges. And then as I'm doing that, I'm really liking what I'm seeing. And I decide to go ahead and get a sponge here and finish that up. But as I'm doing it, I kind of got a little overzealous and I added it, made it a little too dark on the side of the next to the pineapple. So I will come back later and try to tone that down. So don't worry about it with mixed media. You made a dark area. I just got my light yellow again and I'm just putting polka dots around it and some other stenciled images to to brighten that up. So if your area is too light, you can add a dark color. If it's too dark, you can add a light color. And um, so it kind of helps to bring out some texture, especially like texture of a pineapple. So um, I'm still, you know, just trying to shadow a little bit around that pineapple. There you go. So I'm really liking that I was able to lighten up that one area that was pretty dark. And so now I decided I still want to lighten up more. I have a rubber stamp and I am putting it in the paint directly. Yes, I am. It's you. If you do this, you want to make sure that you uh, have a thin layer of paint, which you see me testing it on my mat there. So now that it's all dry, oh, and by the way, clean your rubber stamps really well after using paint. This is my food ball pen, and I'm taking it, and I'm underlining, basically, or outlining on the bottom of everything, every um, thing I want to accent in here. Now, when I zoomed in and I started pulling my project closer and closer to me, I didn't realize that I was getting off camera. Um, I have figured out how to fix that, I mean, how to prevent doing that next time, but in the meantime... Uh, I did have to delete some of the scenes where my hand just got completely off camera and I'm just doing the same thing I'm doing here and that is underlining and accenting the shadowy areas and then I get my white pen and that's a Sigma Uniball white gel pen and now I'm going over the top areas of the words and the leaves and it really brings out dimension as though it looks like I use texture paste in my stencils when I didn't. So I go around the little dots that I stenciled and the leaves and the pineapple. And I just uh, cover and do a lot of work with this. So you can see me uh, highlighting some of those dots, not every single one of them. I don't want it to be perfect, but just enough to bring out some interest in some of them. And after this, I will show you some more pictures too, some close-ups. Another thing I do with this white pen is I start putting little uh, dots around the paper and then I also do a series of white dots around all the black splotches to make them look a little more intentional. And I highlight some of the black stars and then I go on these yellow stars that I stamped. I am putting some little swirlies in there right there if you can see what I'm doing. I love that look. I think it turned out really well. Whew. And there's the last one there, adding a little bit of swirl to that. Oh, there's one more down here, little swirl. So I like to have stencils and different uh, die cuts and different colors and a whole lot going on in my work. And this time I didn't put any texture paste on it. A lot of times I do, but I, I just didn't in this layout. Here's a, another close-up of the finished project. And you can see having that red stripe behind the pineapple did help to bring it out a little bit. So here's a close-up of the words. Thank you so much for watching and joining in while I'm having this fun here. And I thank you for subscribing to my channel. Make sure you check the link out underneath in my video description so you can see Amira's channel and her process of working on her layouts too. And thanks again.